Welcome to our video on feeding your garden. You've probably heard when it comes to roses that you've got to use incredibly complicated feeding programs. Apply this product this week, next week find something even smellier, sacrifice an azalea, stand on one leg, do the praying mantis, all the various things you've heard about. That's good if you exhibit, but we're not exhibiting. We're growing garden roses. So right now let's explore a great feeding program that's easy, not complicated, and even gives you time to smell the roses. know what you're thinking. This is not a real rose. This is a plant that grew in a greenhouse and it's a set decoration. No. These are plants on my farm up in the upstate of South Carolina. This is the feeding program that I use and the one that I'm going to have you use. It's good for your entire garden, be it your roses, dianthus, cottage pinks, Russian sage, gower, whatever it is you want to use, this will feed your entire garden. So let's first talk about the products we're going to use. Three things I'm going to have you use. First is a time release fertilizer. I really like this one, Jackson Perkins Dynamite Rose Food. It feeds over time from spring to summer through fall. Really good product for that. Then you want a seaweed based fertilizer. Sea Magic is a great one. This is nice because it dissolves in water and you're easy to apply. The last thing you're going to get is like this, an organic rose tone, some sort of organic fertilizer. This is a good one. So those are the three products we're going to use to get roses to look like this. This is Buster. He's our resident cat. We rescued him about six months ago. He's moved right in, needless to say. Also great for vole patrol, by the way. He does a great job with that. He's hired. Now that we know what we're going to feed him with, let's talk about how we're going to apply him. Here, Buster, take a break. Okay. The very first thing we're going to talk about using is the granular fertilizer. What, this is the time release product. This is going to feed from spring through fall. I like to apply this when the roses have their first two sets of leaves out. That's the time to go ahead and put it down. Basically, as per directions, this one just calls to sprinkle some on, open the cap, I kind of pour it in my hand, and just kind of sprinkle it around the plant. And again, you can, I've got the dianthus, I can sprinkle it on that as well. And I'm just going to keep doing this throughout the entire garden, and that's my spring application. That's the only time I'm going to actually use this product. Next product I'm going to use is my seaweed based product. This is a real simple product to use. Basically, what I'm going to simply do is open it up, as per directions, pour it, dissolve some in water. I'm going to do this about every three weeks. And what I'll do is once it's dissolved in there and nice and do, I'm just going to water it in to the plants. And this is one you can even water on the plant as well, on the foliage. I'm going to do this about every three weeks is what I'm going to do with that. So that'll get me my three week fertilizer with a seaweed based product. Then in late summer, because I really want a nice kick going into fall with my plants, I'm going to use this product. It's basically, it's an organic fertilizer and it doesn't have time release. I don't want to use time release in the late summer because I don't want to be feeding into winter and jeopardize new growth with the cold. That's why this is good. And again, as per directions, I'm just going to sprinkle it on the garden and that's what I'm going to basically do. So that's your feeding program. Granular time release in the spring. Every three weeks, go ahead and use your seaweed. Then in late summer, hit it with your organic rose food. That's all you got to do. And like I said at the beginning, it gives you time to stop and smell the roses all year long. For Jackson Perkins, this is Paul Zimmerman, and thanks for joining us in the garden. Yeah.